Hey everyone, Shannon here, and today I'm going to teach you how to use the Warp Stabilizer effect in Adobe Premiere. This effect has to be my favorite, and I use it a lot in my post-production. However, I use it to smooth out my footage, and not an effect I totally lean on. Uh, it has saved my video editing life many times until I got my own gimbal and video stabilizer. Uh, but if you don't have a video stabilizer and you're looking to smooth out your shaky footage, say you have a really not steady hand, uh, give it that cinematic professional look, then this effect comes in handy. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm in Premiere. I have a finished video of my Jeep Wrangler. Yes, I like to mod my, my Jeep a lot. That is a fun fact about me. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and play for you the finished footage of my video with the warp stabilizer effect on it. So you get the point. You could see how the footage is really smooth, nice transitioning. Uh, there's no shakiness whatsoever. So I'm going to turn the effect off and you will see how shaky my hand was. So on this one, I'm just going to go ahead and shut the effect off on that. Shut the effect off on that one. Um, go into here and we'll... Shut that effect off. So one thing to note is why I went into a nested sequence to shut the effect off on the video is that it's a pain, but warp stabilizer does not work on nested sequences. So you can see I have a nested sequence for my tire footage here. I had to actually go into that sequence and shut it off on, on the video itself because it needs to be on the video to analyze the frames. So in a nested sequence, there's really not any frames in there. It's kind of just holding all your video footage together. So this needs to be done on the video footage itself. So we got some shakiness there. Definitely a lot there. Um, it's all right, but it's not it's not as smooth as, as the other one. I, I definitely wouldn't put that out there without the effect on it. Um, so you see see what I'm getting at. And there was it was a slight shakiness. It really didn't matter much uh, for this kind of video. But if you're doing some kind of professional video for a wedding or for some kind of event, um, and your your hand is not steady, you don't have a gimbal, you could see how this effect comes in handy and it's really easy and I will show you how to do that right now. Uh, so on the footage, I will just take it off one of my videos. So it's in the effect controls panel right here. It's called warp stabilizer. Let me just get rid of that. Uh, so in your effect search, you want to look for warp. And there's a difference between warp stabilizer and wave warp. Wave warp will actually make your video warpy. <laughs> so you don't want that one. You actually want warp stabilizer and you just click and drag. Really simple. And what you will start to see is it's analyzing each of the video frames. So depending on how long the video snippet is, uh, you know, how big that file is, all these kind of things come into play will we'll take uh, a while to analyze. So that didn't take long at all. Um, you could see it was a short clip. Uh, so if we just, so now it isn't rendered fully, so I want to make sure it's it's rendered for you guys, so you can see the full effect. All right, <laughs> so we'll turn it we'll turn it back on on those, but you can see how it went from you know shaky, and we'll turn that effect back on. So this is how you turn the effect effects on and off. I don't know if anyone knows that. Um, it's a quick way to see a before and after. Uh, so with the effect off, we got the shakiness you see in there. With the effect on, really smooth transition. You know, it just looks so, so, so much nicer. If you're doing this on a video that's like really, really, really bad, <laughs> there's like so much shakiness, 
it could actually make your video look worse. Um, it could be wavy and things shouldn't be moving the way they do. Like if this video was really shaky, the roof of the shed would actually be be moving and the lines would be off. But but here you don't, there's virtually no movement in that. Um, so what it's doing is it's really taking the frames and trying to think about how it would actually look uh, if the footage was, was stabled on a gimbal. So really cool effect. I love it. It's my favorite. If you guys like this video, like or comment. Uh, if you haven't yet, hit subscribe and you will be notified when I release. Uh, let's get it, the nicer grill on here. Um, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Um, give it a thumbs up if you like my Jeep modification. Uh, I would love to hear from you guys. So I hope you like this effect. I hope you use it in your videos. Thanks for watching.